Delicious Santana join us to talk about VH1's Couples Retreat and more. Good morning. Good morning. Good, morning. <laughs> Good to have you guys on. Uh, I want to ask you about this reality TV show. Uh, so what would make you go on here? And, uh, and obviously, every couple has issues, right? It varies depending on the couple. What made you want, it, want to make it public, right, and let the world see it? Well, because we both have public careers. Um, first of all, good morning. <laughs> morning, morning. <laughs> your girl, Miss Delish, is just checking in. Saying, good morning. <laughs> Hope you had your coffee. I've had mine. Oh, uh, we're on the third cups. cup here. Uh, but, uh, oh, see, that's oh, what I'm that's talking good. about. My <laughs> type of people. So, uh, Raymond, I, um, I have been in reality TV since 2006. So um, I had not been back on television, though, because it had to make sense for me. And when I got married to Raymond, what more sense mm. <laughs> does it make to share than love? So when they reached out to us, um, we were excited because we got married during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we couldn't get to a therapist. Um, so we were doing self-therapy. And to say the least... Yeah, no, we needed some help. Yeah. Oh, so, I mean, this was um, this was an opportunity. Yeah, I mean, who really who doesn't Imagine need help? Being with, engaged and right. getting married. Right, who doesn't need help, especially when it comes to uh, even before a pandemic? Uh, we all need help. So let me ask you this question: Why are you are you yeah, concerned? Right. Are you concerned? Yeah. And either one of you can answer this question about putting your business out there. I, and I know you're a former, you're, you, you've been in reality TV before, but are you concerned about, about putting your business and your relationship out there to the public like this? Well, yeah, you, I mean, doing reality TV, Raymond hasn't done it. This is his first time, but I did let him know you will have a concern, you know, you because you have the world judging what's happening in your relationship. But to be honest with you, um, being a public figure is damned if you do, damned mm. if you don't. They're going to talk about you, whether you're on reality TV or not, if you're a public figure. And um, we're pretty active on social media. Uh, as you know, when we first started dating, that was a big com conversation or a big topic of conversation mm -hmm. on a lot of the blogs. So this is our chance to actually share our story from our mouths or from our own experiences and not just from a photograph or a conversation for, from a blogger. But and I'm delicious. cool with it. Yeah, we bring, on the, bring on the opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, delicious. And it's, it's interesting because you're kind of on the other end of the spectrum here because you're like a veteran in the reality TV show uh, game, right? Like you've been there, done that. So I think you, you know what to expect. Raymond, I'm curious, uh, given your background, what was the most surprising thing in this experience and then also being married now to delicious? No, for me, you know, the thing about being in, in this experience was just to learn to understand because this is unfamiliar territory for me. I wasn't afraid about the backlash or people saying anything about our relationship because as you can see my history since 1989, we have been called everything in the book. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, this didn't bother me, but just to, um, to learn from this experience, to be open-minded and anything that it takes to elevate my marriage, that's what it was about. Okay, I, I'm curious. And Any... sharing is caring. <laughs> there you go, right? And it's helping all of us out. And speaking of that, what are some tips that you would pass along? You've been married for a little over a year. You, you've been through a once-in-a-lifetime event, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. what, is, what is one tip you would pass along to maybe some other newlyweds? Communication, number one. Having patience, having communication, having understanding to hear your spouse's issues and and, and, and your spouse hear your issues and, and then having that open mind to, 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 to accept, you know, constructive criticism, mm. accept anything that will help your marriage get better. Right. And prayer. I don't think oh, yeah, people definitely. should go into marriage without a relationship with God because mm. you will need it. That's yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and, and you know what? I know we're out of time, so I'm going to give you this for free. Hey, Raymond, just remember this. The woman is always right and you will be married for a long time. The end. Thank you. Oh, very <laughs> heard that a bunch of times. Hey, see, see oh, what I'm got saying? My pajamas on on the bottom. No. Oh, okay. I have to debate this one, but <laughs> I love you. I can't wait to this pandemic. See? We need to do it in person. <laughs>
That's right. Y'all come on down. Y'all come on down. The woman is always right. But See? There you go. And that's you how you've go. been married almost two decades. Yep, Listen, y'all make a great couple together. Thank you so much for coming on. Can't wait for you guys to come visit us in person. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Y'all take care. Just a reminder, VH1 Couples Retreat premieres next Monday, April 19th on VH1. Check your local listings for times. That's a, some great advice. Yeah. I'll co-sign that. I remember Delicious from Fav Flavor of Love, so I'm gl so glad that she actually yeah. found love. Good yeah, absolutely. All right. Well, there's a raging debate happening online right now. Who's the better actor, Jamie Foxx or Will Smith? It's getting real.